Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Today we had two requests for tutorials. One was to create a lower third, and another one was to do the stroke effect. And I thought about, you know what, let's put both of those together and do one tutorial. So uh, this is what we will be creating. So basically we have a stroke revealing our lower third. Um, and I did a little bit of animation um, as we went through this thing, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today. Um, and I thought it was really unique doing the stroke effect around our lower third. So let's go ahead and get started on this. So let's go ahead and create a new competition. I'll call this Tut Main. And that's all good. Let's go up to Layer New Solid. And let's make it 1080 by 1080. So it's a perfect square. And let's call this one uh, Circle Plate. And OK. And let's go up to um, our tools up here and click on the ellipse tool. And normally I would just double click uh, to just have a perfect circle, but I'm gonna do something a little different. I am gonna click and hold down um, shift and command and it's gonna uh, create a perfect circle just like this. And I think it'd be control on a PC that was command on a Mac. And here we have a perfect center drawn out in the center here. And um, what I'll do is go up to um, effect, generate stroke. And then uh, let's set it to on transparent. And let's turn off the mask here so we can see what we're doing. And as you see, we have an outline of a uh, circle here. And now we can animate this. So let's go ahead and set it to 100% for the start. And let's move forward in time, just maybe 12 frames, and set it to zero. And maybe we'll hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes. We'll select the last keyframe and make it as easy as keyframe by hitting F9 on our keyboard. And then let's go ahead and move this thing into position. So I'll scale it down. Uh, Maybe right there. Maybe I'll make the uh, brush size a little bit bigger, maybe four, so we can see what we're doing. And um, maybe a little bit bigger, I don't know. And then let's go ahead and just move this thing all the way over here. And let me go ahead and drop down some footage so we have some reference. Actually, let me just go here, copy this, and paste this here. So now we have some little reference of what we're doing here. Okay, so now let's go to, uh, let's bring in our logo. And let's scale that down. And I'll leave it over here for one second. And then let's go ahead and duplicate our circle layer. Let's go to the mask. Let's um, let's actually just turn off the stroke. Sorry about that. Let's turn off the stroke and let's scale this down. So it'll be perfectly in the center there. All right. And then uh, let's take our logo and let's scale it down a little bit further. And let's put it like right here. Maybe 11. Okay, looks pretty good. And uh, so basically now uh, what we can do is we should go ahead and animate this. So we'll take um, our little fill circle here in our logo. Uh, we will move forward in time a little bit. We'll hit um, S on our keyboard to bring up the scale and also rotation by hitting R. We'll select keyframes both of those. Let's move those keyframes forward in time and let's um, rotate it just by a little bit and then We'll hit zero on the keyboard for the scale, so now it'll come on just like that. Let's make these easy as keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. So that will come in just like that. All right, so now that we have that set up, uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and create the nameplate. So uh, let's go ahead and create a new solid, and we'll call this one name uh, plate, and let's make comp size, and OK is good. And then let's go to the rectangle tool, and let's draw out a rectangle mask. Uh, that should be okay. And let's go ahead and move this into position where we want to put it. All right, awesome. And then uh, once again, let's go up to effect. Actually, you know what? We can just copy the stroke effect here. I'll hit you on my keyboard. Let's just copy the keyframes over here and I'll copy the entire effect. And we'll just, uh, let's see, we'll paste it. We want to start like right, I'll have to start like right here. And then we'll just put it on, uh, on transparent. So now, our rectangle will animate on and that's pretty cool. And then let's go ahead and duplicate it and let's delete the stroke effect. And then uh, instead of just scaling it down because it won't be proportional to the size and stuff, let's go ahead and select uh, the top vertices down here or the, uh, sorry, the two points. And let's, uh, hold down sh let's hold down shift and use the arrow key to bring that down just by a little bit. And then select the two points on the side over here. And then 
let's go ahead and just select the bottom two points, bring that up, and just you know, hitting the, sh I'm holding down shift and use my arrow keys, just clicking the arrows one time to bring them over just like this. And now we have this, and it looks pretty good. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, type in, you know, maybe a name. Uh, my name is, uh, what's my name? Joshua Noel, I don't know. Joshua Noel. And uh, let's go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. And so let's go ahead and animate this background here. So uh, let's go to the uh, mask here and let's duplicate the mask and let's click subtract. And let's, let's hit MM on our keyboard and there we go. So let's go ahead and um, go to the mask expansion for mask two. And let's see, we want it to start maybe like right here. Click the keyframe for our stopwatch for mask, ex mask expansion. Move forward in time and let's, you know, set it to negative you know, 60 or whatever, whenever it starts to close up. And now that we have that done, let's go ahead and duplicate this layer and let's put it on top of our text layer and let's make it a alpha mat. So now it will reveal on just like that. And now that's all set up and ready to go. Uh, let's go ahead and let's uh, duplicate. Um, let's duplicate, let's duplicate all these layers and let's drag them to the top and let's just color code them so, so we don't have to rename them and we just know this is the name or the subtitle plate and these will be the name plates and let's go ahead and make it something else like brown. All right, so now let's go ahead and um, instead of just uh, scaling them down, which could be a big mess, as you can see, like the anchor points are all over the place and that can be a mess. Let's go ahead and create a new null object by going to layer, new null object. And let's go ahead and parent all these, uh, these are gonna be our subtitle plates uh, to the null object. And now we can go ahead and scale this down and position it over here. And we definitely want to scale that down a little bit more. So not be uh, that big. And let's go over here, drag it down by going to the position on the null and move into position. And the only issue that we really are having is the um, stroke, uh, the width of the stroke. So I'll go to that uh, stroke effect and maybe set it to three, the brush size to three. And that looks pretty good. Um, so now all we have to do is kind of just offset this. Um, and the one thing I want to do is kind of make the stroke a little bit. Um, I want to create some variation so it doesn't start at the same spot. So what I'll do is go to back to that uh, nameplate with the stroke effect. And then I will go to one of these points. So I'll say this point up here in the upper corner. And I'll right click it and go to uh, mask and shape path and set first ver vertex. So now the... Uh, stroke is going to come from that point. So that looks pretty good. Um, there is just one little of an issue that I see here and it is this plate right here. It kind of cuts on a little of a uh, frame there because of the mask. So what we need to do is uh, hit you and our keyboard, bring up the first keyframe, go to the first keyframe over here and just cut the clip to be right there. And we need to do that for the uh, subtitle um, mask as well. So I'll go to the first frame over here, hit you on my keyboard, and we'll just cut that over here. So let's go ahead and rename this to, uh, let's make fun of myself, I don't know, After Effects Newbie Cakes. I think I spelled Newbie Cakes wrong. No, I spelled it right. Cool. After Effects Newbie Cakes, all right. So, okay, so now let's go ahead and pre-compose each of these layers. So like this is gonna be our Subtitle uh, comp, and we'll name uh, the precompose the nameplate comp. So we'll call this one nameplate, and let's go ahead and take our logo as well, and we'll call this one logo plate. So for our subtitle, since it kind of comes on the same time as our nameplate, we need to just offset it just by a little bit. And let's go ahead and just parent everything back to the null object over here, and let's go to uh, let's see. Uh, all right, let's see the animation ends right here. Let's go ahead and hit S on our keyboard, NP on our keyboard, bring up scale and position. Uh, let's move forward in time and let's scale this all down just by a little bit. And let's move this over. And that should be okay. So basically, it'll just, it's really cool. So it kind of adds a little animation to it. It's like it's big when it comes on and then once it's there, it kind of gets out of the way of our footage. And let's go to like four seconds. Let's go to edit. Split layer, and let's right click this, and let's go to time, time reverse layer, and let's go ahead and 
uh, really shorten this thing up, bring this out, maybe extend it since I made the composition longer than it should be. And let's go ahead and make shorten up even more and bring it over. And now this thing will animate out. And then one thing I like to do also is go to time stretch and make it like negative 50. So it'll be a quicker, uh, it'll, it'll uh, animate out a little bit quicker, so. And this is what we have created. And I did typo After Effects by leaving out the S, which really makes me a newbie cake. But um, if you have any requests for tutorials, please uh, uh, drop a comment or hit me up on my social media networks. Links in the description. And if you have any questions, please drop a comment. And um, if this video has helped you, please drop a like. It helps me out tremendously. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing for more awesome tutorials just like this. And guys, hopefully, I'll see you soon.